Yeah, hold it off. Any okay. doubts once the gun went off? Um, no, I mean, I definitely, I mean, kind of. Yeah, like, always, the last four years, I haven't been, like, super confident in myself. Um, definitely doubted myself more than I believed in myself these last four years, but um, there was just always a little something in me telling me that if I just stayed healthy and could get back to solid training, I could get back to running at this level. And um, yeah, even coming into the race, like I had thoughts of taking the lead and like making a long drawn out kick like I usually do two to three laps to go. And um, I wasn't 100% confident in doing that, but I thought that that was still most likely gonna be my best chance of making the team. Um, and coming in, I, I think uh, Hamilton took the lead with three laps to go, um, didn't, didn't really push it. And going into two laps to go, I just, I felt myself taking a couple hurdles and coming up on his shoulder and um, coming into the home stretch with two laps to go, I was on his shoulder and I was like, well, this is, this is your move if you want it. And I sat there for a little bit and I was like, I, I don't know if I want it. I, I don't know if I can do it. And I was just like, fuck it. Like, this, I, this is what I have to do. Like, this, this is your chance right here. So I just went to the lead, um, try to squeeze it a little bit, not make too big of a move, uh, leave myself a little, little juice for the last lap. And um, yeah, uh, Hillary and Bernard came up on me and passed me and uh, no one else came up on me. And I was like, all right, just sit here and you're in top three and make a move the last 200 and see what you got. And yeah, kind of played out exactly exactly that way. What did the last 50 feel like, knowing that you were right there where you need to be? Um, yeah, I felt like me making my first Olympic team, honestly. Uh, same emotions. I, I haven't, I mean, yeah, making my first Olympic team, um, winning silver at uh, in Rio, and then this, um, this same kind of emotions where, like, I, I couldn't even really keep it together till the finish line. It just, like, the emotions came just pouring out of me, and um, yeah, I was pretty emotional, um, extremely happy, uh, and just, yeah, just like very proud of myself. Did any part of you enjoy being an underdog going into this race? Um, no. no. Or, or did you think you were an underdog? Oh yeah, definitely. I, I mean, I, I think everyone knew that Hillary was the top guy coming in here. Uh, he'd run, I mean, he's won the last couple championships coming in um highest placer at worlds and the olympics well i guess not the olympics but um just regularly the most consistent guy for the u.s on the world scene uh the last three years and had already run 812 and 813 coming in here no one else was close to that this year so i think everyone knew that hillary was a top guy um and like i, I knew i wasn't top guy but I just tried to tell myself that, like, I I tried to exude some of that top dog uh, swagger a little bit, just coming in and just telling myself you're top dog, even though, like, I, I knew it wasn't the case, um, just to kind of, I guess, force some confidence a little bit. Um, so, no, like, I mean, it's way easier making teams when you're the top dog. Uh, and so I was super nervous coming in here. Uh, I knew fitness was in a good enough place to make the team, but I hadn't showed that in any races this year. So it was, um, yeah, there was the confidence, but also the doubt for sure. What was the lowest point for you over the last four years? Um, probably, probably 2019. Um, when I, I still didn't really know what I was dealing with as far as my injury was concerned. Um, I was kind of just running with like under the belief that like things should have been healed and I just was running with pain and just compensation every single day. And I, with the information that I had, I just couldn't, 
I couldn't figure out why I was feeling the way I was feeling. And so um, I think one, being injured, two, not being fit, and then three, not feeling like myself at the time was incredibly frustrating. And um, that, that was probably the lowest. Um, there's been a lot of low times, uh, but that that first year was was definitely the worst. When you were racing and in practice, do you feel like you're the same guy from five years ago? No. Whether are that things you can't do, like how is it different? Um, I don't I don't feel like in the races, for example, so far this year. Um, like I'd be in these race situations and just kind of always feel comfortable until the last two laps and always feel like no matter where I was in the pack, I could get out and move to where I needed to be without really exuding any energy. And right now that that red line is way thinner right now. And so um, I, don't, I don't really feel like I can run 66s and drop like a 62 or whatever I need to, like whenever I want. Um, so I feel like I have to kind of spread my energy out a little bit better and just be smarter about when I'm making moves and positioning instead of when you're always the fittest guy in the field, like tactics are very easy to play out however you want. So you have to be smarter with what you're doing. Um, and yeah, you don't have those, those gears in the middle of the race like you, you want them. Um, but I am, I'm starting, I, I'm honestly feeling more and more like myself um, just in practice. Like these last two, three weeks has probably been the first time in four years where I feel like I've, I've been in a workout and like could tell the workout was getting hard, but no, I can keep pushing. Whereas up until this year, like I would get to that point and just like my body would just like collapse and I, I just when I get to that point I'm just done and so now I feel like I'm actually fit enough to like keep improving on fitness in those really hard workouts. You've been to worlds before Olympics before but always overseas how different will it be to be in Oregon? I mean it's going to be really cool it's really it's extremely special um, and uh, I, I think there's going to be pride on the line. There's obviously going to be home field advantage, um, lack of travel to, to get to world championships. There's the familiarity. Um, and I don't know, just like feeling like you're at home in the U.S. Uh, and feeling like everyone in the stands is cheering for you is going to be really big. Um, obviously, I haven't done it before, so I don't know exactly what it's going to be like. but. Well, that's I, what I wonder about. Yeah, at I that think, level, at the yeah. tip-top level, it doesn't yeah. make that much difference. No, it, mm. it, it, it might not make a huge difference. I mean, everyone's honestly going to, like, no one's going to come in here and be like, ah, oh, this isn't my stadium. Like, I don't know if I can give it a go today. So <laughs> um, it's, I, I imagine the level of competition is going to be pretty much the same for everyone. But I think... I would like to think that pride will kick in a little bit that last lap when you're really, really hurting and uh, just push you a little bit over the edge. It looked like as soon as you crossed the finish line, you went down and then Hillary and Bernard came immediately over. What was that moment like? I mean, yeah, for me, it was, it was just really emotional. Um, like I said, I've, I've doubted myself more than I've believed in myself these last four years and I feel like um, there's just like that little bit in me that believed I could get back here and there was almost nothing showing me that I could uh, whether it was in fitness or workouts or races um, but I'm just I think I'm just stubborn enough to like just keep at it and not not give up and um, I wanted, I mean, honestly, like my whole steeple career was like, I came out in one trial as the first year and my first steeple workout, I was like, this is, this is it. Like this feels just right to me. And so from then until 2018, it was like, 
obviously I worked really hard, but like I never really ran into any major challenges in my career in the steeple. And um, I thought a lot of times that like, I, I don't think I would be, I don't think I could live with myself if I like just gave up the first time it got hard. And I wanted to prove to myself that I could come out here, chip stacked against me, um, not the favorite by any stretch of the imagination. Jonathan counting me out and oh, not picking me for the team. <laughs> and so I just, yeah, I just, I mainly wanted to prove to myself that I could do it. But like, there was that little bit in me that like wanted to prove to everyone else that like I wasn't done and um, I can still be the runner that I th I thought I uh, that I thought I could be. How will we be prepping from now until Worlds about three?